In this video, we are going to learn about selectors. An element in HTML always has a tag and may have an ID, class or attributes. Targeting an element to apply CSS, we need to use these selectors or combination of these selectors. Let us see how we can target an element using different selectors. Here is the sample markup that we will use for this topic. Few styles are already applied on this markup to make it visually clearer, which we can ignore. Let us start with using an ID. To locate an element using its ID, we will append symbol hash in front of the ID name. For example, we can target this section element with ID mybox by writing this style, hash mybox color red. This will select the section with ID mybox, mind it. ID should be unique for an element. It is identification of an element and has to be unique. Otherwise, you may face issues with your selectors. You are watching YouTube channel Study Zone with Sunil Sal. Next, using a class name. Targeting element with class name is done by appending a dot with the class name. In this example, selecting the element with class name circle can be done in following ways. First, dot circle color red. This means we are targeting all class circle elements on the web page. Second, dot box space dot circle color red. This means we are targeting only those class circle elements which are inside class box. There is one more way where you can use multiple selectors of the same element. For example, div dot circle color red. It has no space between the selectors. This selector means all those div elements which have class circle should be selected. This is mostly done to increase the specificity of a selector, which we will learn in this series after a couple of tutorials. One important tip. The concept of IDs and classes is exactly same as IDs and classes we have in our schools. Many students can be in same class, but every student should have a unique ID. Next selector is tag, used without any special symbol. Consider the tag section. To fill the background of this element with red color, we will write section background red. Next is using an attribute. Sometimes we do need to locate elements on the basis of the attributes. For example, you have multiple anchor tags or you can say a tags on your page with different href attributes. We want to change the color of all those anchor tags which are targeting to www.google.com. Your selector will be a and then in bracket href is equal to www.google.com color red that's it from this video if you have learned something please subscribe our channel